Hey, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo, and I have to apologize. It has been months since I, since I have done a YouTube video, and the reason is is because my computer died. Uh, I'm still looking for a computer, and um, I've been really wanting to put a YouTube video on, so I am trying this on my iPhone, which is a very old iPhone, so we'll see how it works. But I wanted to show you something that I'm working on today. Uh, let me give you a little background. Uh, a few years ago, my two sisters and my mother and I, we went on a Disney cruise together. And those of you who are not familiar with Disney cruises, they have a gift exchange, which is called Fish Extenders. And you can actually go to my Tapping Flamingo YouTube channel and just look for Fish Extenders and I explain a little bit more in detail what they are. But it's just a gift exchange. And um, I, um, like I said, my, my videos, I talk a little bit about what I made and all, but my sister, um, the one that's just under me, her name is Tammy Pally, and she's the Crafty Princess. You can go look her up on her YouTube channel. But she has, um, she had come up with a really good idea, and they were a bead of dreadlocks. And one of the reasons she came up with this idea is because the Disney cruises, they have what they call pirate night. And everybody dresses up like pirates and they have pirate party. And, you know, Captain Jack Sparrow, he's got all those beaded dreadlocks and all. And she kind of got that idea from there. And I have just really thought this was a cool idea. You just stick it in your hair and you have your little beaded dreadlocks. Um... So I actually asked her not long ago if she would be okay with me making some to put on my Tapping Flamingo Bling Etsy shop, and she was okay with it. She says, not a, not a problem. So that's exactly what I have been working on. And um, what I've done, whenever I make um, beaded jewelry out of seed beads, I will put them in a bowl when I'm working on them. And then instead of separating them out and putting them back in their baggies, I have a, a baggie, like a Ziploc baggie, that I've just been pouring beads in over time. And because of that, I have actually accumulated quite a few mismatched beads. And um, let me see if you can see them here. There you go. See? All kinds of different colored seed beads. Different sizes. I've got um, some that are... Um, I don't think I have any more left in there now. I've used them all on my uh, beaded dreadlocks that I've made. But I had some hematite stars and hearts and halite and shells and just all kinds of different um, beads in there. And so I have been making beaded dreadlocks. And these particular ones I actually have used a glass leaf bead on the ends. And um, see there's a shell. And see if I can find... Oh, here's a little sparkly. And let's see. Somewhere I know I've seen some hearts Here's a uh, turquoise. Anyway, just some mishmash of all kinds of different beads. And they're very fun to wear. You don't have to go to a pirate party to wear them. We just got back from a cruise a few weeks ago, and I actually um, brought this one to wear um, one of the evenings. And uh, anyway, I just thought I'd share that idea with you. Those of you who make jewelry, it's pretty much just like putting a bracelet together. Um, if you don't feel like making them yourself, hope you go over and check out my Tapping Flamingo Bling Etsy shop. I'm selling it in groups of five. And they'll make great fish cinder gifts or just gifts for the um, cruiser or whatever. But uh, like I said, they're fun, fun to make and fun to wear. I hope you check out my Tapping Flamingo Bling Instagram and uh, Facebook page. 
I would mind if you shared this video, give me a like, and most importantly, have a wonderful day. This is the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.